Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Gemini, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Spellcaster's Tarot deck, and to clarify, I'll be using Learning Tarot cards. And Gemini, we're going to see what message or messages we have for you. So Gemini, this is for you. We have the death card, past energy, transformation, endings and new beginnings. The eight of wands, something came in very fast. The lovers, maybe it's had something to do with love or maybe you had to make choices in regards to love. Or that could be you, Gemini. The lovers signify Gemini. You got the five of pentacles. Um, that's past energy here. Five of Pentacles is the mindset of lack you feel like you don't have. The Three of Pentacles, <laughs> there's something coming in in abundance here financially, some kind of opportunity for you, some, maybe some unexpected finances, something is growing for you. Um, the Star card, don't you ever give up, you hear me? Don't give up. Sometimes we're almost there and we give up. Keep pushing forward. You have the Two of Wands. Choices, decisions, balance. You could choose that path or that path. But you're tied to both though, you know. You're not sure which way you should go. You have the Ace of Swords, which is about mental clarity and communication. And you have, that's the Ace of Swords. And then you have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is about you getting yourself in a situation, tied up in a situation that you feel you can't get out of. But I'm gonna tell you this, that card is a card of free will. And we willingly put ourselves in that situation and we willingly can get ourselves out of it. Some situations take a little, are a little more trickier than others, but there's nothing that you cannot accomplish, okay? If you need help, ask for help. There will be somebody probably willing to help you, all right? Whatever that situation is. feeling kind of isolated. So on top of the death card, we have the Knight of Swords. You're very determined. There's some big changes coming in. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Or this is past, okay? This has already happened. Um, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Good fortune is on your, your side. It's about destiny. It's about luck. It's about your delays are over. And then we got the Death Card. And the Death Card is about transition, transformation. It's about endings and new beginnings. So I say whatever new beginning is waiting for you or was waiting for you, it happened and it was really beautiful. You got the death card on top of the death card. You did go through some changes here. But good fortune is on the way if it has not already arrived. You have the knight of swords. You have the wheel of fortune and the death card on top of the death card. That's some transformation. Could be spiritual transformation as well. Becoming aware. Seeing things for what they really are. You got the eight of wands. Ooh. Whatever change here or whatever transition you went through, it came it came because somebody was holding a lot of secrets. Um, or you're keeping somebody was keeping secrets and they have a deceitful energy around them. Lies, 
you might have had some enemies that were pretending to be your friends and things were revealed to you. The moon card says the path may not be clear, but my intuition lights the way one step at a time. So you already know about this, these secrets, you know about the person or who is, who is deceiving you, past energy. And then you got the fool. Was that what made the ending? The lies? Because the fool signifies a new beginning for you. And it's coming fast. And then you got the lovers. The lovers could be you, Gemini, or it could be that you need to make a choice in regards to the heart. You're tied up about this choice. You got some conflict going on. You have the Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped. You don't know what to do. You feel like you're backed into a corner. You got the Five of Wands, which is about competition and internal conflict. Fighting, arguing, you know, but sometimes it's an internal struggle. I always look at the wands as internal, like something internal, you know. And then you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about romance, eh? New love coming in, somebody bringing in a proposal. Following your heart. And that's why you all tied up. You don't know what to do here. You went through a change over there not too long ago. And that change, happened, you know, it had a lot of lies and stuff to do with it. But there's a possibility of a new beginning and only you can make that choice. And only you can settle this feeling that you're having being all tied up and this conflict within you. Because there's a proposal coming and you know that. It might already be here. That's why the lovers are there. You got to make some choices. But it seems like you can't make the choices right this moment. Because of the five of pentacles, you will. So we got the seven of wands, which is about your challenges. Okay, whatever it is that's challenging you there is over. The mindset of lack is done. Okay, you are above your challenges. You have a lot of courage. We got the ten of cups. This is happy family. This is about marriage. Okay, and then you got the strength card. Strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. You have a lot of inner strength. You're going to overcome whatever it is that you're whatever it is that you're going through. This tied up feeling that you have, the conflict within, the mindset of lack is temporary. It lasts as long as you want it to. And the way these cards here look, this is telling me that you have overcome that. These are all positive cards. This is the 7 of wands, the 10 of cups, and the strength card. That's about your personal strength. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is about things growing for you. And the universe got her hands in it, so there ain't nothing you can do about it. It's going to happen. But there's going to be something unhealthy attached to it. Here it comes again. Hmm. Watch your money. Pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances. Somebody might come to you with some kind of um, collaboration. Partnership. It's going to seem fair. But there's something that's not right with it. We got the devil. We have the six of pentacles and we have the chariot. Something to do with this opportunity. Watch your money. Pay attention to your money. So the devil represents addictions, depression, mental health issues, ego, secrecy, cheating, dependency, bondage, hopelessness, abuse, violence, assault, finding it hard to let go of the power of negative thinking. Pay attention to your money. I don't, it's just a feeling I get, okay? There might be some kind of energy around you always like this, 
like this, you know, they want. But you're going to overcome this energy here. You're going to overcome it. There's no doubt. We got the chariot here. No obstacle will stop you. No obstacle will stop you. Nothing. You're going to have victory. You're going to overcome things and you're going to be successful. You're going to overcome whatever this unhealthy thing is. You're going to be aware of it. You hear me? Just pay attention. All right? Just pay attention. Pay attention to some kind of partnership. It's a partnership or some kind of collaboration. Just pay attention to it, okay? You got the devil, you got the six of pentacles, and you have the chariot. Then you got the star card. You probably did pay attention to it, and you were determined to get out of that nonsense. You said, nope, they caught me for a minute, but I'm gone. Oh, then you got the star card. On top of the star card, you got the tower, you have the star, and you have the four of cups. Now, the tower is about chaos and confusion, unexpected. It just happened and it just blew everything up. The star card is about hope and faith and keeping your eye on the prize and moving forward and not giving up. No matter what this moment of chaos and confusion is going to be, you let it happen in the sense of, Experience the emotions, the shakiness and everything. Just process them and don't hang on to them too long, okay? Know that everything will calm down. Nothing stays the same. It never stays the same. Now, I see in my comments, some people say, it's been like this for the last seven years or it's been like this for the last six years. The thing about it, you need to start looking within, okay, babies? Look within and see what is it that, what it is that you're missing did you start healing did you start looking after your heart you know the pain that was there for so many years have you faced all your traumas you know it's a lot of work do you meditate do you go outside and put your feet in the ground and ground yourself so sometimes the bad times do hang around for a while but it's up to us for it not to take us down we have a tower here, chaos and confusion. Surrender to the storm, okay? You have the star card. The star card says the universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. And the four of cups. Having some regret because you refused an offer. But you did the right thing, okay? There was something unhealthy with that offer. Trust me on that one. You got the tower, you got the star, and you got the four of cups. I feel you made the right decision. The two of wands, you got some choices. You got to figure out which way you're going to go. You got the king of wands, you got the king of swords, which is you, Gemini, and you have the eight of wands. Now, the king of swords could also be another air energy. The king of wands is definitely a fire energy, a Leo, or Aries, or a Sagittarius. The king of swords, um, a Gemini a Libra or Aquarius, it could be another energy here. Whatever it is, these two energies, the King of Wands is backing the King of Swords, so like they don't get along. The King of Swords is very truthful, has a lot of authority and strength. And the King of Wands likes to be in charge. You know, they take the lead. But something where these two energies are concerned is coming towards you extremely fast. Okay, so I don't know if that's the choice you have to make because we got the two of wands here. And then we got two energies. Now, this could be you, it could be you, or it could be another air energy. You got the king of wands, could be a Leo, or Aries, or a Sagittarius. This person likes to be in charge and take the lead. Um, you have the King of Swords, very truthful, authoritative kind of uh, attitude. Very strong, good conversation, something coming pretty fast. Something you have to make a decision about. Then the Ace of Swords, you will have the mental clarity to make that decision, won't you? Let's see. Got the Justice card, you're going to find balance. You got the page of swords, you're gonna have that communication. And then who is the earth energy? Huh? The justice card, you get what you give. Remember, 
If you set out with integrity, you will always win. You open your heart and you set out, okay? Be your authentic self. Don't set out with ill intention. Now, if it gets screwed up at the end, that's fine because that wasn't your intent, okay? So don't beat yourself up if something doesn't work out. So we got the Justice card, which is about um, integrity, cause and effect. We got the Page of Swords, which is about information, communication. Maybe somebody checking you out. Maybe your Earth energy looking at you. Ah. Maybe your Earth energy is looking at you. A Earth energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now, this could also mean you're going to have mental clarity in whatever situation you have going on over here. You're going to have some communication. Now, if this is not an Earth energy, this is telling you that you're quite capable to handle anything that comes before you. But I feel this is an Earth energy as well. I feel this is a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. And you're going to have some communication. We got the Justice card. I'm not sure if it's legal communication. Or are you going to feel balanced after that communication? But this kind of communication here is things that you need to know. Okay? It's something that you need to know. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles. A capable energy. She likes to handle the money. Capable um, business person. Abundance surrounds that energy. And then you got the Eight of Swords. You tied up again or are you over this? The Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. You're overloaded. Too many decisions. You're feeling off balance. You're juggling many things. What are you doing, Gemini? Huh? What you doing? You gotta make a choice. Seems like you got a couple energies that you need to make a decision about. Okay? Should I stay here? Or should I go over here? Or go with... A whole new energy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Only you know the situation. But the Queen of Pentacles is definitely about prosperity and being capable. Then you got the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. The Two of, Pentac the two of Wands is about choices. You have two paths, you have decisions to make. You gotta either go that way or that way. You got the two of pentacles, which is about balance, but it seems like you're juggling, you know? It's like you're trying to stay balanced, and you're juggling all these energies. And the ten of wands is telling me that it's kind of heavy on you. You know what I mean? You might need to stop and look at the situation and do things a little differently. And remember, ain't no judgment here, you know? Ain't nobody judging nobody. Okay, but do the right thing. You got the two of wands, you have the two of pentacles, and you have the ten of wands on top of the eight of swords. This is why you got yourself tied up. That's why you got yourself tied up. It's got you having anxiety and fear. You're worried. But no matter what, you're going to figure it out. You're going to overcome it. You're resilient. You're very resilient. You got backbone. No matter how many times they drop you down, you get back up. And then we got the temperance card. This is about balance, about peace, and it's about patience. You be patient. Everything will work out. You know what you have to do. Right? Stop worrying about it. Stop being anxious, you know, just let it be. 
Let it happen. Make your decisions. Sit down and think about it. What you can do is get a piece of paper, draw a line in the middle, write the pros and well, four, four columns. The pros and cons of one person, the pros and cons of the other, or maybe six columns, depending. You know what I mean? <laughs> but write down the pros and the cons and see, you know? See who is the better fit for you. Just be patient. Just be patient, you're resilient. All in all, it's not really bad. In the past, there was some confusion and you're gonna have a little chaos here, but it's not nothing you can't get over because the star card is there. You're deep in thought about things. You may have some regrets for releasing that, not taking that offer, but it's okay. You did the right thing. So it could be that you, you might have, let me see something real quick here. So with this earth energy here, I saw, okay, so each major arcana card has, is associated with a, um, a zodiac sign, right? Some, I don't know if all of them, but I know the devil, I, I thought it was Capricorn and it is Capricorn. So if there is a earth energy, because you get the queen of pentacles here, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. There's some kind of unhealthy thing here what it is exactly i don't know i don't know if it's just sadness you know if this this energy gave you so much sadness but whatever it is darlings you are gonna work it out you have you do have the nine of swords which is about worry but you are resilient you're very resilient don't you give up and you got the temperance card which is about balance and you will find the balance that you're looking for I know my extremes, now I seek peace. That's what the temperance card says. Darlings, I love you dearly. You got some choices to make. It might have to do with a fire energy and an air energy. It might even have something to do with the earth one. But no matter what, you can make the decisions that you need to make. I love you guys dearly and we definitely will chat soon.